Hello and welcome to the Everyday Joy Podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. Now, if you didn't know, the way that people find out about this amazing podcast and about this incredible group of people is by writing written reviews. So why don't you jump on, write us a five-star written review, and let someone else know about the Everyday Joy podcast. It's the greatest way we can build our community. It's the greatest way that people can find that little bit of joy each and every day. Let's jump into today's episode. You're blessed when you're content with just who you are. No more, no less. That's the moment you find yourselves proud owners of everything that can't be bought. That's Matthew 5, 5 from the Message Bible. Jackie. Ash. We are in the final days counting down till Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. We, I can make it. We I can thought, do this. I thought we that was do you doing ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was me just stressing. A, my old panic attack, Ash. <laughs> like, <laughs> I ho, thought you were being ho, funny. Ho. <laughs> oh jack i can't that is hilarious so good. oh my goodness now jack do you have any fun christmas plans do i have any fun christmas plans or are you going away or what are you doing no not going away away we um do have access to um a house with a pool mm-hmm. over the holidays so i will be making full use of that mm-hmm. now as you know we've since the beginning of the week when today I have moved house. So I You will, have officially moved. I have officially moved. Uh, I have not officially unpacked. So <laughs> we're just there. We're just, you know, like living like hobos. But no, we'll be doing some unpacking and some organizing and because I love a very organized kitchen yeah. and a very organized laundry. Yes. So, yeah. so your Christmas is actually Unpacking now it has the silver tree made a reappearance because of the lack of house organization currently. Look, I think everybody truly was traumatized by the silver tree, and the silver tree may have found its way into landfill <laughs> at some point, uh, thrown there by a child going, "I just can't believe she did that," and throwing it away. <laughs> uh, if you have no idea what we're talking about, listen to I believe it's I think it's Monday's, Monday's episode. Yeah. It is a good one. Jackie's <laughs> Jackie's parenting Christmas fail. Too good. Yeah, that was a pretty epic fail. Too yeah. good. Awesome. Oh, I love it. <laughs> well, in this verse today, we're looking at Matthew 5 verse 5. It says, you're blessed when you're content with just who you are. No more, no less. That's the moment you find yourself proud owners of everything that can't be bought. Jack, what comes to mind when you first hear this verse? Well, I love that it's actually telling us. It's Well, I also love what it's not telling us. Mm. It's not telling us to not want more. Mm -hmm. It's not telling us not to pray for solutions or pray for blessings or anything like that. It's actually saying that it doesn't matter what else is going. And this fits in so well with the theme of everything we've been talking about Mm. this week. um, That when you're in it, no matter where you are, no matter what situation, be content. Mm. Like you can still want more, you can still be in a bad spot, you can be in a good spot, but you can find joy and contentment wherever you are. Mm. No more, no less. That's just what it is. And it's being okay with where God has us right then and there. Yeah. Not what we want, not what we think is the best thing, but how do I find that contentment and that really that joy Mm. that we can only get from God. Yeah, you're exactly right, Jack. And I think in this second part of the verse, it says that's when you find yourselves Mm -hmm. proud owners of everything that can't be bought. And it's so interesting. I actually saw a video. There's some, there's this really famous, he's a YouTuber guy. um, And he, he's kind of been well known for, I guess, maybe not necessarily mocking Christians, but not, not, having a favorable light on Christians, right? And he, one of his best friends is a Christian and they ha- he was on his podcast and something that he said was so interesting. He, he said this thing about God and he basically went, I had this revelation that Christians are about forgiveness, loving who God's created us to be and not being jealous. Oh man, that's awesome. And this is, this is someone who is, you know, not necessarily 
an, an advocate for Christians, but but he heard these things and he came to this realization and he kind of went, the things that Christians are actually for mm. are great, good things. And he basically came yep. to this conclusion where he goes, a lot of the world's problems would be solved yep. if we all did these things. Yep. And it was so interesting to me because in this in this thing, this man is a very wealthy man. He's probably got everything materialistic, yep. everything that the world would look at as successful in terms of you know monetary value, value or things. But he realizes that there's a shortfall without those things and without God. Yeah. And it was so interesting for me to hear someone who maybe doesn't have a faith say that because yeah. he could see it, but it's actually about learning how do we grasp this and right? how do we action it and yeah. how do we live it out. Yeah. Because it's not necessarily easy, but we know that the fruits of that or the results of that our joy, our peace, our hope. Yeah. It's all these things that God has for us. Yeah. But so often it's actually not looking inwardly, not going, yeah. I need this. This is what I need to do better. This is what I need to to have more. But actually going, okay, God, what? Like you said, what's your will, God? What yeah. do you have for me? And when you hit that point, you can't be dissatisfied when you have an understanding yeah. <laughs> of what, God's goodness for your life is. Oh, absolutely. And he's got you at the point, like he knows. Yeah. yeah? He knows exactly where you're at. He so knows your true. frustrations. He knows what he's called you to do. And he mm. knows that you know yeah. what he's called you to do and you're not yeah. there yet. Yeah. But it's finding being okay with that and still knowing that. Yeah. And it's that, you know, it's almost like there's that verse that is, um, you know, the peace that... Um, you know, belies understanding. Mm. So it's basically peace that doesn't make sense. Yeah. And this is exactly what we're talking about yeah. here, right? That you can, you're blessed. You're yeah. blessed by that peace. And the Amplified Version of the Bible says that that, that blessed is inwardly peaceful, yeah. spiritually secure, worthy of respect. Like that is blessed, I right? love that. And that's yeah. so true. I think so often our thoughts on being blessed right is not those things and it can run to the material yeah yeah but it's about how do we learn that being blessed actually looks like those things right? that you just said can you read them out one more time yeah absolutely blessed inwardly peaceful spiritually secure worthy of respect yeah yeah how do we flip our mentality to look yeah. at life through that lens you know it's kind of that idea of you could spend your entire life not content yep. and you will miss out on so many good things because you are so caught right? up in what you don't have. It's that whole idea of the grass is greener. Yeah. yeah. But you'll spend your whole life thinking the grass is greener on the other side and you'll miss out on the flowers yeah. and the garden that's in yours. Yeah. And the, the awesome thing about that there's there is a scripture in the bible that talks about you know the grass being green and and it's a fruit of like a um, fruitful plain mm. or something like that now the actual um physicality of the environment in israel in biblical times is not somewhere that your mind takes you to when you talk about a fruitful plain and like heaps of grass and there's no grass there's little bits of dried up stuff that the animals go to find, but it looks barren. Like it's not talking about this idyllic thing. It's talking about what God had for the people mm. at that time and what they made of it. And mm. it's actually saying, you know, God is so good. He's so faithful to us mm. that we can find that contentment no matter the circumstance. We can be blessed we can be peaceful. We can be mm. secure in our faith. We can, you know, be worthy of respect no matter where we're at. And yeah. it's just such a great place to be. It's so true, Jack. And and I guess when I read this, it makes me, I don't know, it makes me really grateful mm. because it shows me that God cares so much more about me and who I'm becoming versus what I'm doing. Yeah. I think we live in a very do 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 world 
it's like can you do more what can you what can you achieve all these things how can you how can you get more but I think what it shows me is that God cares so much more about where my heart posture is Mm -hmm. yeah than where I'm where I'm going and what I'm doing and that's so that's so true and it's so pertinent to this verse because the word content in the verse means humble meek Mm. Mildness of disposition, Mm. gentleness of spirit, kind-hearted, sweet-spirited, self-controlled. You know, it's not about anything other than being more like Jesus. Yeah. And that's what being content is, right? Mm. It's not that striving. It's not being of the world. It's not, you know, it's that attitude that Jesus had towards all people. And like you were saying, if everybody was like that, yeah, that's all it would take for the world to be a better place. It's so true. Jack, I'm sure there are people listening today. And the reality is that we all have moments mm-hmm. where we don't feel content. Oh, totally. And we, And I've been there too. I've had moments of being like, God, I don't understand why this mm-hmm. is happening to me. Or God, I don't understand why this person gets this and this and this and I don't we're human yeah we we are we think like that (laughs) yeah yeah and so I guess it's more about teaching ourselves to renew our minds but Jack would you would you be okay to pray just for anyone who's in a season where you know you're in a season of feeling so discontent yeah and the reality is often we can't will our way out of discontentment the reality is we need Jesus to renew our mind and renew our heart yeah. and teach us through his word through his through his love and through his his grace and heart for us what his plans for our life are yeah and that where we're at is okay yeah and we're where we're at yeah for a reason so if you could just pray for anyone i know particularly in this season this Christmas period, I'm sure we're, mm-hmm. we've all seen things on social media, on Christmas cards, on all these things where you go, man, I wish I had that. Could you just pray for us and just pray that God's peace, yep. those things that you, you spoke of, would just flood our hearts? Yeah, absolutely. Father, I just lift up everybody listening today, Lord. And I just particularly pay attention, Father, to people who are feeling discontent, who maybe face, you know, Christmas in a way they don't want to and are wanting for more, Father. Would I just ask you right now, would you send your Holy Spirit to everybody feeling that way right now? Wouldn't Holy Spirit just release a peace that we don't understand, release wisdom, release contentment, release everything we need father and to pick us up and to comfort us and to set us on the path that you've put before us and lord we just thank you for your comfort and we thank you for everything that you're bringing to everybody listening lord and we just ask that you would bless us and bless our christmases bless our families lord and lead us in the way that you would have us live and we ask this in jesus name amen Amen. You know, whoever's listening today, maybe you're in that season like what Jackie prayed for where you're struggling. Maybe you just feel yourself so overwhelmed by these thoughts of not understanding why or or you just don't you just don't know if you can see a way out. You know, the grass isn't always greener. How can we learn to be content with who we are? Because that's when you'll find true owners of everything that can't be bought. Peace, joy, freedom. Remind yourself that God cares more about who you are becoming than what you are doing. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Everyday Joy podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you tomorrow.